Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve going up with our second episode of our Random Roll Zoo. It's what I'm choosing to call it. Uh, last time, if you uh, missed the video, first of all, shame on you. Go back and watch it. We uh, rolled a 403 at our random number generator, and that gave us some Darwin's Rias. So we made a little entrance area, and then we put in a nice little Ria exhibit. Uh, basically, if you're not familiar with the plot, if you skip that video, what I'm doing is just picking what animals I'm going to do in the zoo by uh, using a random number generator based on the number of animals I had. Uh, last time, 403 got us to Darwin's Rhea. Let's go ahead and just do our roll and see what we get this time. Okay, we got number 53. Much less counting this time. Let's see what we get. All right, scrolling through. So that was uh, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3. The, I believe this is pronounced the Barrel, which is one of the Aurora designs. Um, so you know it's going to look good and look great because Aurora Designs does excellent work. Uh, yes, let me see. Let's take a big look at the zoo. I believe in the extra large zoo, yeah, we start way down here in the corner. Uh, so I'm probably not going to try to build them into the corner. Maybe I'll build them in this general area here. Something that you can see when you first come in. Uh, that sounds like something that might be kind of fun. Might be kind of fun. This is another great, great... Like I said, Aurora Designs, everything they do is great. I have a link for them in the uh, comments below. If you're looking for some awesome, good... Uh, good uh, mods. Mods was the word I was going for there. Some great mods for your Zoo Tycoon 2. That's definitely one that you should, uh, a site that you should visit to grab them. Uh, I really don't know much about the barrels. Let's check. It looks like they're in, uh, kind of in, well, they're probably mountain animals considering they're right there on top of the Himalayas. Um, let's see, did they make a useful? Uh, Himalayan blue sheep. Called it. Nailed it. Um, okay. So it's going to be a rocky, what kind of environment? Alpine environment. Oh, of course it's alpine. All right, so I think I've got an idea of what I'm going to do then. Let me try that again, but using the English words. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do then for our barrel exhibit. Uh, that means I'm going to build it right in this area, like I said I would. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over into build mode now, and I will join you on the other side so we can do our walkthrough. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to do it. Number 53, the barrel, starting now.
All right, welcome back from the build. We've gone ahead and put in our barrel exhibit. Barrel? Barrel? Not quite sure. No way of knowing. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go through the entrance here, and you can see it's going to be the very first thing that you do see. I tried to make this just kind of a multi-stepped exhibit. Oh, and then you can see some barrels way out in the open there. Just hanging around, probably going for that delicious hay. Some little num 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 num. Yep, going for some num 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 num. We'll go ahead and zoom in here so we can get an even better look at our guys. Those are just amazing models. You can see we've got one male and one female here on the outside. The male's a little bit larger. He's got larger horns. Um, let's go ahead and go out of the camera mode here so we can appreciate the full exhibit. Put a bunch of rocks up in front of the areas where our, our zookeeper and our barrels will be coming out. Um, I was trying to figure out a way, I don't think there is one, as far as I know, a way to completely disguise what was going on there. In fact, now that I look at it, it's probably more disguised if we get rid of... Do, 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 get rid of this. Even though that takes away sort of the faux rock wall there, it's going to make it so that area is consistently the same color. Yeah, so it doesn't stand out as much. I mean, you can tell that it's obviously a man-made building because it's got 90 degree angles, but I'm gonna let that go because it looks pretty good on that side. I don't think anything else is escaping. Uh, I may build up some bushes over there so you can't see the front area. Um, or maybe just even put more big rocks in there. That's possible too. We'll go ahead and we'll scroll along the exhibits. Uh, it doesn't look like the third one's joined us. We'll have to make sure that they're able to get out here. Uh, but that's looking pretty good. It's interesting that we did the random numbers and we got two um, we got two species that are essentially the same uh, biome. They both have the alpine. So that's actually kind of worked out. It gives us a little bit of theming to the area. Oh, uh, now that I'm looking over here, I remember I used kind of the yellow tanny rocks instead of the gray ones. Yeah. All right, I'm probably going to change these ones off camera. Changing these ones just because there's less of them, so it'll go quicker. And that way they'll match up a little bit more. Okay, note to self, do that off camera. Um, oh, our barrels are happy. Yay, go Himalayan mountain goats. Uh, let's go ahead and go around to the back side real quick. Uh, do, 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 running along, doing our thing. Our thing is really awesome to do. Oh, our Rias are going to lay eggs. All right, uh, I did build this up in the back so that um, we continue with that uh, multi-tiered, just kind of slopey exhibit. That means we need to build our ramp so our zookeepers can get up here. And we'll just pop them in the door here. See, we've got a little bit of a storage area. I did a little bit more um, inside work than I did on the past exhibit. Went ahead and put the faux brick walls in uh, just because our um, when I raised the ground up, it didn't quite hit the exact height, which meant there was a little bit of gap between where the roof is and where the, uh, you might even be able to still see it. Nope, you can't see it there. A little gap between the roof was and where our walls ended. So that was causing a little bit of issue that I wanted to fix. Uh, this should be good. Oh, you can see our Marl is still inside. He's made it, or she, uh, sorry, sorry ma'am. Uh, she's made it out of the pen. I started her inside this middle pen here. Uh, clear she had a little bit to drink, and uh, now she's having a little bit to eat. That's so cute, eating the grass. Uh, hopefully she's able to find her way out, but um, oh, it's because I closed the gate. That's why she can't find her way out. Okay, well, I'm confident she can find her way out Would I open the gate door. Either way, we'll go out the zookeeper entrance here, and we'll just come around the corner here. Oh, oh we're having a hitbox issue. All right, we're going to have to move. Probably just get rid of this archway is my guess. Let's get rid of that, and then we'll also check it on the other side. Get rid of that archway so we can walk on by. Yep, that works fine. That lets us get down here. Hey, give it a little brush, 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 brush. And you've eaten some of the food. You left the greens alone, though. you got to eat your greens or you can't have dessert. Uh, went down to the pool, it looks like, so that's good. They're using the water like I hoped. Um, let's hop back out and take a look to make sure removing that arch didn't mess up the exhibit design. I'm guessing it doesn't. Yeah, it's not perfect. Um, what we can do real quick, just to kind of make this look a little more um, like I did it on purpose and it's not just a big mistake hanging out there, I'm going to go ahead and complete the railing up top there. So it looks like just one big building. Oh, that's the brick wielding. I want the brick railing. I want the white railing. No point in trying to make it all look the same if we're going to use different parts, after all. There we are. White plaster, that's the one we want. And just like that. 
drop that there. And take one more look before we say it's a den. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. It looks more or less like we've created the white one. All right. So that's what it's going to look like coming into our zoo now. Obviously, the first thing that you're going to see is the barrels. And I'll probably have to put up some signage or something to see if people make sure people turn and look at our areas on the other side. But there we go. Two random numbers in, two excellent exhibits. Um, strangely enough, this exhibit's on theme is both alpine animals. Maybe our luck will hold out. I somehow doubt it. I suspect the next one's going to completely throw us off. But there we go. Simple, easy beginning to the zoo. Um, and we're going to go ahead then and end this video right here. I want to thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, be sure to actually like the video. Uh, subscribe, click the bell, all the other things I'm supposed to say. Uh, other than that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining me today. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve saying bye.